So let's let's do a lot of Brock Purdy talk because you've been the most optimistic Brock Purdy media member since he stepped on the scene, and I've been one of, if not the most, skeptical ones. So let's see if we can meet in the middle or at least debate it. <laughs> All right, how many quarterbacks? Good. How many quarterbacks in the NFL right now could run this offense better than Brock? He's a pretty good fit. Yeah, I mean, I just i I think you just got to look at the guys that are for sure obvious, right? I mean, um, Mahomes, Josh Allen, yes. big yes. time guys with big time arms that could make all kinds of throws. For sure, mm-hmm. those two guys. Um, mm-hmm. And then it becomes, it's kind of like beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I'd probably put Lamar in there because I think Lamar is just has that same kind of, he would, it would be a different look because you would, you would use him more just on runs, especially in short yardage to kind of keep the offense on the field. But I think Lamar would be really good. I think Jalen Hurts would be really good. And then, then there's the three young guns like Lawrence, Herbert, and Burrow Mm -hmm. and you know Burrow's cold right now but he's a total stone cold winner Herbert is got maybe the physical prototype uh, and yet you know he's kind of 500 career and he's not winning all the time Lawrence you know is maybe one of the greatest quarterback prospects the league's ever seen so I gotta think that for sure for sure Mahomes Allen Lamar and Hurts I would say those four and quite possibly Lawrence, Herbert, and Burrow. So I would say those seven. I, I say I would throw Brock in around eight. And and maybe, you know, if you obviously Stafford is incredible still. So maybe you go Stafford in there, even though he's an older guy. Um Not and then Tua. Tua's Tua's been really hot. That's the other guy that a lot of people like on the list. I mean, you you could say Jared Goff on the right day really looks mm-hmm. good. Um, and, mm-hmm. and you don't have to be super mobile. You got to you got to be able to make plays. Um, efficient thrower the from the pocket. Who? Goff would look pretty good on this team. Yeah, I think Goff. Goff would not be a bad call. I mean, definitely Stafford. Um, I mean, some people you could make an argument for the veteran crew guys like Kirk Cousins, Cousins. Russell Wilson, Cousins. and Russell Wilson. Uh, yeah, what about those two? Yeah, I mean, those guys. I think definitely could you can make an argument that you know, but they're right. not playing as well sometimes some of these guys aren't playing as well and they've got better weapons in the case yeah. of uh cousins and then i don't know what to say about russell the other guy that's kind of like a i don't know is deshaun watson who didn't even play this weekend but he's committing right. even he's completing like 55 percent of his passes and making some kind of odd maneuvers some people would or argue dak. for dak i i would yeah. say no i would say purdy's better right. than dak but right. i mean i i definitely think there's i would say seven to ten if you you know because that that's in this argument we're not talking about any kind of money or anything like that so you got to take the guys like Stafford and you know Russell's probably a future Hall of Famer. Um, are we gonna throw Rodgers on the list? What about Stroud? Stroud's Stroud looks really really good. He does. He looks really good. Okay, so potentially Stroud. So hold on one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen. So I think it's fair to say that. There are maybe, maybe 14 quarterbacks who could run this offense as well or better than Brock. It's a hell of an offense with a hell of a coach. Still, that puts Brock in the top half of the league. And I think most people would agree with that, even though he's only started, he hasn't even started a full season worth of games. It just looks like he really is. And he does have a lot of things going for him. He doesn't have the big arm, but neither did Joe Montana. And I'm not comparing him to Joe Montana, but you can't just rule out a guy because he doesn't have the big arm. Well, and the, the I think the point is, Obviously, there's only one Joe Montana, but Brent Jones, who played with Joe Montana, just went on NBC Sports Bay Area's website in an article that I read just yesterday, said he reminds him of Joe Montana. I also Brent did an Johnson interview. Said Brent Jones said that. Nice. Um, and he's talking I take about that seriously. Brent Jones is is a serious guy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, to me, more than anything, Grant, that is a freaking eye opener. I mean, because you yeah. and I, we can say whatever. What yeah. guys like Brent Jones? This guy played with Joe Montana. He yeah. he's got no reason at all to. There's no motivation on Brent's part to. Okay, this is the exact quote. I'm going to read it to you. It's unbelievable, actually. Four-time Pro Bowl tight end Brent Jones. I think Brock is a cool customer. 
and that's really hard for people to appreciate. He's just such a young kid and hasn't had that much experience in the grind of football with all the spotlight, a playoff team, a team that should be in the Super Bowl this year. And that's why, and that's, uh, and, and the way that he just is so cool just reminds me a lot of Joe. Nothing ever phased Joe. He was relaxed. He was calm in the huddle. Nothing mm. uh, could could fluster him. And Brock just seems like he has that same persona. I agree. So that's Brent Jones. Now, I did an interview yesterday on 95.7 The Game on the pregame show with Lorenzo Neal with Larry Centers, who played with Tom Brady um, his final year. They won a Super Bowl together over Carolina. And I mm. said, what do you think of Brock? And he said he rem- there's several things about Brock that remind him of Brady. Hmm. So, you know, these are the best. I mean, this is hard to – this is really – I'm a huge Brock fan. You know that. But even, this is pretty hard to fathom that we are here. Um, but that's how impressed at least a couple guys are. Brent Jones, I, I, Larry Centers, yeah. Ronnie that's- Lott was say, very glowing in his praise of Purdy last week as well. That's uh, that's fair. I, I sort of look at Purdy and Jalen Hurts similarly, and here's why. I feel like both of them are quarterbacks who still have a lot to prove because they're on the best teams in systems that perfectly fit them. Like, wouldn't you say Philly's system is a perfect fit for Jalen Hurts and what he's want and what he wants to do and what he's good at? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a yes. run, oh, you know what's interesting about it, Grant, is they're both in run heavy systems but still yes. have weapons of note to throw to. So, like, you know, Philly's a run-heavy. If you said, what's Philly doing? They're a run-heavy system. But they have Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, and Dallas Goddard, you know, and yet they're a run-heavy system. The 49ers, I think you would argue, well, well, are initially run-heavy. you say, run though, heavy. that Jalen Hurts is, is a better fit for Philly than he is for the 49ers and that Brock Purdy is a better fit for the 49ers than he is for Philly? Well, I think at the end of the day, though, they're both trying to do the same thing. You know, use their legs to to avoid rush. They both want to make plays from the pocket. Uh, Hertz runs it a little bit more, uh, but maybe that will change over time because he's not like he's Lamar. He's not he's not an elite runner. He's more of a, a resourceful runner. Uh, but Hertz, I think, also gives you something different. Hertz gives you a short yardage option as a ball carrier almost because he's so strong leg wise that I think there's an there's a little bit of an advantage there. But I'll tell you this, Purdy's accuracy is unbelievable. He when he's in rhythm and yesterday he was in full rhythm from the start of the game, his accuracy on the short and intermediate stuff, which is most of the stuff that Kyle's dialing up these days, is um you know, on on point with him. you know, he looks very accurate, like well at the All top I'm of the scale accuracy. Is that both he and Hertz are fortunate to be in the perfect offenses for them with really good talent around them and really good coaches. That doesn't mean they're not the real deal, but I still have questions about Jalen Hurts. You're on the best team with the best offensive line. The system's perfect for you. What's going to happen down the line? I guess I still have those questions with Brock, but right now at his price point on this team with this supporting cast, I mean, he's really good. He's a really, he, I, you, could all, you, you could say he is a perfect fit. Jalen Hurts, though, great, and I think is a great, great uh, comp because these guys, I mean, I, I did it, did the whole deep dive in the playoffs. They have like about 50 identical characteristics. I mean, from their, they're both, you know, the conviction with their faith. They're both the exact same size, hand size, everything. Brock's got a faster 10 yard split, uh, Hurts has got a faster 40 yard time. Um, that you know, but they're both right around six feet, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. They're both these like quiet, humble leaders that you know that the guys really love and and play hard for. They're respected in the room, but they're not rah rah guys. I mean, there's so many traits that Jalen Hurts and Brock Purdy are very similar. It's it's uh, I think it's going to be awesome to watch these guys battle it out for the NFC for the next five or six years.